As the resident geek on this show, the Consumer Electronics Show is one of my favorite events of the year, and social media and tech expert Sarah Evans has a look at what's new in connected lifestyles. Sarah, good morning to you. Thanks so much for having me. So you're there, you're checking it all out. What are the hottest trends that you're seeing coming out of CES? Well, every year for CES, I like to come up with a theme based on what I've seen the day before the show opens. This year, it is connected life, real community. I've really noticed that tech is becoming less siloed. We're finding more ways to integrate and have things work together so that we can engage in real life. And you're, you're gonna talk about something called a connected lifestyle. I'm sure we've all heard that expression, but what does it actually mean? So connected lifestyle really means the smart devices or internet connected devices. You can have all of the smart luggage, refrigerators, robots, you want till your heart's content, but the most important thing is the underlying technology and that is broadband internet. Cox Communications actually rolled out gigabit internet speeds across their entire uh, nationwide market this year. It's something they've been talking about for years. We now all have access to it. And I'm a customer. That means it can power all of these devices and they're already preparing for the future talking about 10 G, 10 gigabits to the home. Well, and having that fast internet really allows us to sort of keep up with the trends year after year right because you have the capacity uh, to connect many devices and have them communicate quickly you know CES really is a great place to see where we are where we're heading that said your cable service provider may seem like an unlikely source of information but they're really among the leaders of those who are even here now in Vegas watching to see what's coming and offering and integrating those with consumers based on what we say we want and mm -hmm. need and also preparing for what's coming next well, and it's really going to affect all sorts of experiences, including, say, sporting events. So talk about the future of, say, a smart stadium and how that's going to change our experience. So one of the coolest things here in Las Vegas right now isn't at CES. It is the new Raiders Stadium. We're really excited about this. And Las Vegas is about to have the most connected stadium in the entire country with 40 gig internet connections, 1,700 Wi-Fi hotspots powered by Cox Communications. And what this shows me is that the technology that we talk about, we can actually have and use. And this sets us up for setting the precedence of what stadiums of the future will look like and also how this can be used in smart cities and communities. And really, really quickly, I mean, there's so many different ways that we can watch shows and television these days. What's the best way, in your view, for people to stream content? Well, you might have heard the phrase streaming war, and I do not believe it's an either or scenario. If you're a cable service customer and you also have subscriptions elsewhere, they're likely integrated now. So if I use my Cox Contour remote, I can say what I want to watch. As the consumer, and I have found anecdotally, most people don't even realize that they're switching between cable and a streaming service. They just want it to work, especially my three-year-old. You cannot mess with her. She <laughs> needs to get her content. And it all matters, you know, uh, what our, our internet speeds are. With gigabit internet speeds, whether our family is on their tablet devices, in the home, outside of the home, we're always connected, even using Cox Wi-Fi in multiple places around the country. It's a seamless experience. Seamless is good. Sarah Evans, thanks for joining me. Thank you.